Hello, 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 welcome. We are one minute away from Hogwarts Legacy. I've been super excited for this game and I absolutely can't wait to get into it. This has been the longest hour of my whole entire life. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited to get into it. Um, I've only seen a little bit of, of the game. So it's all gonna be pretty, pretty new. Too early, all right. We got about 10 seconds to go. We should be good. It's happening, it's happening. I need to stop this music. It's happening. We have, we have the game. <laughs> I, was, I can't believe. Menu reader, off. Press left trigger to toggle. Toggle aim mode. Call, menu re I can't believe we have this game. Uh, toggle aim. Mm, nah, should be good. I just want to get into it. Mm. Okay, continue. We're gonna go performance mode. <clears throat> I can't believe we have the game. Uh, well done. Oh yeah, okay, sweet. So I'm gonna get my, um, my wand and stuff. Rewards unlocked. Yes! Claim. Claim, 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 claim. Oh, that's cool how it recognizes that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like it a bit brighter than usual. <laughs> We're pleased to inform you that you have been accepted. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> I can't read this, I'm too excited. <clears throat> Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year. Term 1 begins on September 1st. Primary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle, as you may be aware that the, the responsible restriction of underage sorcery behaviors is the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously allowed Agreed to allow Professor Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting from Lyland into the castle. Okay. I feel like this dude, maybe. Oh my goodness. This is the first sack like, legal stream out there. Because it is officially 12 o'clock in New Zealand. Wink, wink. Um. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Um, maybe this one. Yeah. Oh, that kind of looks like my hair. A little bit longer, but. I'm gonna go with that.
Yeah, black's good. I don't know if I want a scar or not. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nah, I don't think I do. Eyebrows, brows. That kind of looks like my brows, maybe. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. To... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. A few cobwebs. I am indeed. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That was quite something. It was wonderful. I believe I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Mm, I kind of like that one. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, we're gonna go normal difficulty. Mark. Reset. I'm a wizard. Start your journey, is that it? Did I do my eye color? Oh, it's up here. My eyes are pretty much black. Did I? Can I have glasses? How do I choose my glasses? Anyway. Alright. I'm too excited. Let's get into this. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. That's George. <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. This game looks so good. I can't believe I'm playing this. <laughs> Glad 
I caught you before you left for Scotland? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was what your was that? wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Mm. Nor do I. Ancient magic. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. No. That was unexpected. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What oh. the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. How far did that port key take us? 
farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path. George didn't even may be. last 10 minutes into this game. And he's already dead. Mind your step. Oh. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key, the port Okay. Sir? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But Wait, sir, where's he going? Why was your wife searching for evidence mm. of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. <laughs> Uh, use the camera to select it. I can only stop it. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Now it's just ahead. This Steady game looks so good. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. This is so cool.
What's he doing? Should I be doing something? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Ah, oh, is that Merlin? That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? No, it's a portrait. It's a portal, sorry. It's a portal. Is that, that's Gring, that's Gringotts. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? That's definitely Gringotts. What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. name Godric's heart where are we I don't believe it Gringotts that has to be Gringotts hello Back. I knew it. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. 
momentous day. <laughs> On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Wait, when was so the last time this vault was accessed? Whose vault is this? It's been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Ooh. Oh, as if. <laughs> Do I have to go in? Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, money. Thanks, mate. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Are we locked Let in here? Think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. I like no it. Time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Oh, do you have to tap it? Cool. That was easy. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what Jeez. you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need Rebellion. to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. That old floor. Oh. What the hell? What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. 
Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. Um. When we moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. It needs to Perhaps match it. You should cast Lumos. How do I do that? Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. This doesn't look good. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos, where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. Protego, Lumos, Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. align these statues with their reflections. I need to get them all to stand at once. How do I do that? It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here.
I missed it. That was a lot longer than I thought. I didn't realize I had to do the um, stupefy thing. did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that... basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive... for viewing memories. I wonder... Hmm... Whose memory is that? Lead. 
Is that Merlin? All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Mm. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Ancient magic. See. Magic. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? <gasps> I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> questions. How's his armor glowing red like that? to the game that's are you all right fine sir i've never seen so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic where are we <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Wait, where are we?
amazing. 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 Ten out of ten. Amazing. Um, they still haven't explained what happened to us though, like what's our background, what happened to our parents and stuff like that. So I hope they do that at some point. Oh good, we haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Hmm. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Yes. Better be Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I hate him. <laughs> Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. That's so cool. That's well so done. cool. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. This game is so good. Looks like everyone's gone. <laughs> Better head to the common room. I'm actually in the Hufflepuff common room. Oh my. This is so cool. Lumos. That chick was talking about me starting school as a fifth year. What is that? Come talk to me, mate. I suppose some introductions are in order. There's so many people around. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait. You're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... being that far behind. I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course. Presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Oh, 
Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu? The fuck is that? Sorry for swearing. Father's got you. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. That poor Hope cat. they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Arthur's a bit interesting. Where's Poppy? Yeah. I want to talk to Poppy. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh. Hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Oh, what happened? We really need a gobbled up by a dragon. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the Oh, room. there's Poppy. 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 She doesn't even want to say hi to me. That's so rude. This common room is awesome. <gasps> what the hell? Can I not go up the stairs? Damn. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, 
We've devised something <sighs> extraordinary to ensure your success. The field guide. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be a That's the healing potion. Do keep up. I'm right behind you. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes. Nice. To complete from a fear. Challenges menu is the challenges Good, menu. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Ah, uh, okay. Lumos Rebellion. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Central Hall. Okay. I just fast traveled to the place where I was. <laughs> and here we are, quite the time saver. Oh, no, I didn't. lead directly to Central Hall. 
You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Revelio. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. <laughs> what will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A Professor Hackett. Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack my suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle oh uh, do i lie to her i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm. almost precisely what professor fig said speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Although, unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. Mm. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. 
and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, yeah. Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, in these cases you will need to be required level uh, spells can be in back. Track quest with A. Oh charms class. And it tells me what um what spell I'm gonna learn, Akio. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Do I actually do the exams at the end of the, the year? Rebellion. Lumos. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. This is the, than I have. the one they showed in the gameplay. Lumos. Do come and find me. The, the moss. Be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Professor Weasley. Oh. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Okay, let's go learn Akio. So I can learn this, um, so I can get the rest of these field guide pages. Oh, 
I love this game. It's actually really good. This game is awesome. Rebellion. What's that little ding? Lumos. <laughs> That's so cool. That is a big mood. Just sitting there and listening to the music. Oh, that's where the moth is. What do you want? That life is behind me. I promise. Lumos. Oh, there's the toilets. Dodgy. Sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. My aunt says I don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Says it's good to get out of the castle sometimes. Anyone been into Albie Weeks' shop lately? I'm always looking for an excuse to go to Spinch Witches, even if I can't afford a new broom. The last time I was at Dogweed and Death Cap, Madame Green had everything from Disney seeds to shrivel figs. Just be careful not to upset her, though, or she might set a venomous tentacular on you. I wonder what it was like in Hogsmeade before 1740. Okay, let's start this quest. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here! Oh, snatty! Thank you. Hello, I am Netty. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. <laughs> mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. 
Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. <laughs> Finally, Hermione was there. And take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Hell yeah. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <laughs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the Akio. spheres and relinquish your... Splendid! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. That's it! Too much. Stay focused. Very good. Mm. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. I got this. What's this? Yes! Oh. Damn it. Here we go. Okay, I can still win. There we go. Damn it, she won. That is how it's done. Akio. Mm, okay. That's it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> a 
I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Okay. Let us do this. I'm gonna win. That's good, I'll take that. Here we go. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Nicely done. Oh, as if. Watch this. <laughs> All right. I have to get a blue. Ha 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 ha. Very good. Oh. Oh. Very good, both of you. Well done. It was a tie. But I got a blue one. Class is dismissed. Hmm. Gather your things on the way out. A tight game! It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest <laughs> wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But what if it never seemed intimidating or that's the sequel it always to the game home. they make it wagadu is wagadu a castle like hogwarts its address is mountains of the moon it is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside i remember the first time i saw it the mist was so thick i could hardly make out anything at all and then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive, not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. She's cool. I like her. Of course, you can. A word, if you would. If you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. 
I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Um, challenges. Quest. Climb rewards. Cool. Collections. Oh, how do I wear that? Inventory. Oh wait, what's the uh, quest item? Attend the film. Relationship quests? You. Mm -hmm. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better <laughs> see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan.
off on another adventure, are we? Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of... Okay. Well, that's peace. Was the minister a boo or the minister a rebellion? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> How do you do this puzzle? Does it change? Five. Question mark. That's the first one. Hmm. I'll come back to that one. This is the astronomy tower. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. The little bell is when there's a field guide page around. Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm, that's cool. All right. Oh no, how do I get to the map? Fast travel again. How do I do the fast travel?
travel. There we go. Um, it's a pretty good game so far from what I've seen. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. She's cool. I like her. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Mm. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent. Good. Now, well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Protego. Levioso. Protego. That's the case, please. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a <laughs> How's the view? You're good. Now perceptive. Thank you. Protego. Remember the lesson. Let me know. Let me know. I do not join in life with you. Turn it all the way to the of this attempt. Rather good, eh? Hey? Oh, I know. Protego. Let me Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I think I'm getting used to the spells. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. 
Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. <laughs> Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. <laughs> Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh. Spelliamus, Bombarda, Defendo, Confringo, Incendio, Depulso, Descendo, Flipendo, Transfer. Perseus, Resto Momentum. Wow, that's cool. Oh, wait. Ah, Imperio, Crucio, Avada Cadaver. <laughs> oh, they've got one Guardian as well, one Guardian Leviosa. So how many are there? Four, eight, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six times four, that's 20, four, 23 spells. Okay. I don't know if that's all of them. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, let's collect our rewards. Challenges. Course. 
Actions. Collections. Why can I not? Oh, there's so much stuff to collect. What are you up to now? Me? Da, 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 da. Oh, they have a lot of arrows on them. This, the castle looks amazing. Lumos. I still don't know the castle too well, but I'm pretty sure that, so that was in the um, astronomy tower. Revelio. There's another one. Rebellion. Revelio. It's back over there. Maybe it's downstairs. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from the fight.
Revelio. Another adventure, are we? Rebellion. <laughs> Intriguing. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh, what do I say? Nothing more, Professor. I see. I'm trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. These
These field guide pages are really going to bug me if I don't find them. There you are. Rebellion. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rotero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Makes sense. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying pink is. Got it. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. Levioso. Flying around. Accio. Revelio. Rebellion. Cannot 
good. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Judge your speed by its size, or size. Also, with Melanie Cool. So many field guide pages. Revelio. Revelio I can't find it. Revelio. That you poor. I've no time for idle chat. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Revelio. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Revelio. Oh, when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Clubbing in the faces. I'll just die. Two staircases, and this is where they put me. Rebellion. Trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic.
That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Revelio. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I really have made a mess. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I'd collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help. If I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Can you remind me what you needed help with again? I need someone to collect the five books flying about the library for me. <laughs> it's been two One seconds. One of them is my personal diary. And I'd really like to have it back before it falls into the wrong hands. Oh, is this the library? I'm 
going to have to use Akio to get those books. Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Rebellion. Rebellion. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Rebellion. 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 Accio. Rebellion. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. 
Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went <laughs> wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. It's a relief to finally have an art dress of white ass. Revelio. Hogwarts has brought me in. Rebellion. Accio. Well, Revelio. Hello, Sebastian. Ah. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I wanted that field guide. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. Damn it. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, Rebellion. I've been tempted to say I lost my wand just to get out of Weasley. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Rebellion! Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Rebellion! So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well... 
I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lace wing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Rebellion. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see Accio. that. Rebellion. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriff? The left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Rebellion. Hmm. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first hand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as event. Rebellion. Accio.
Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. Rebellion. Well, but she'll be better soon and back at home. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcraft, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Be right with ah it's you um just a moment please ah hello sir i'm looking for, for a new wand yes it's about time yes uh, about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerbold olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, 
Give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Take it! Curious indeed. Intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion!
Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Rebellion.
confidence, do the hard work. Akio. Revelio. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Rebellion.
Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake. They are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't need to miss out on anything. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Revelio. Accio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. 
Just, I'm really enjoying this game. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dipney seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Rebellion. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Taste of his own medicine. 
goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair one. Oh, uh, one less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I'll go and see what he wants. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Rebellion! Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of learning. But I could offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. You 
you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gog. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Hmm... I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours.
All right. Well, I think that was very adventurous for today. I think, um, I think we'll call it there. Thanks guys for joining, um, and, um, yeah, first impressions, it's pretty, pretty good game. It's pretty awesome. Um, I looked a bit, um, 
bit neutral for most of the time, but I actually really enjoyed it. So, um, it's just late and I gotta go to bed. But yeah, thanks for joining me and I'll um, catch you guys tomorrow for part two. Alright, see you later.